Nowadays, it is very easy to get distracted and lose your focus and motivation to stay consistent, which is why we always want to seek how to build more discipline and stay disciplined because it is discipline that helps us stay consistent whenever we have a lack of motivation and we see a dip in motivation. We always rely more on discipline in order to help us keep on going and stay consistent because if we do not have discipline and we do not have motivation, then there's no consistency. And if there's no consistency, then there's no progress. There's no results from the work that you're putting in. So whenever we find ourselves not disciplined, we start to look for ways that we can build discipline. But not only do we look for ways to build discipline, but we also look for ways to stay disciplined because it's another thing to build the, the discipline, but it's a different thing to stay disciplined on all that momentum that you have built. But the thing is that a lot of us struggle to stay disciplined and we find ourselves falling off from all the momentum that we have so far built. So how do you stay disciplined? You see a lot of us, and this used to be me, we start these New Year's resolutions in January 1st, right? We know this is very popular on Instagram. People, you know, hashtag New Year's resolutions. They start posting their goals and they start taking pictures in the mirror about their body, how they're going to change their body. And they start New Year's resolutions on January 1st, right? Day one. And then they start going hard on all the things that they said they were going to do. They have all these goals written down. And so they start to make this change very quickly, very fast. And not only is it quickly and fast, but this change is big. And so they start to make these big changes, right? They start to eat healthier. They start to work out three to five times a week. They start to spend less time on social media. They start to get regain more focus. They start to work on their goals. They start to meditate. They start to take cold showers. They start to journal. You could All the things that you could think of, right? Things that can improve your life. A lot of people start to do that in the beginning of January. But what is the common theme among the majority of people who do this? and like I said this used to be me so I know what it feels like to go through that process what is the common thing that the majority of them do at the end of that month they stop continuing to work on the goals that they set for themselves in the beginning of January 1st and why is that they started in the beginning hard they worked out in the beginning they ate healthy in the beginning they meditated in the beginning they took cold showers they woke up earlier they slept a lot earlier they did all these things in the beginning but why is it that in the end of the month when it hit January 31st, why is it that they stopped continuing on their goals and they slowly and slowly started to become inconsistent? They started to work out instead of three to five times a week, they started to work out once a week. Instead of eating healthy the majority of the time throughout the week, they started eating the majority of the time throughout the week unhealthy and a little bit of healthiness. Why is it that the majority go through that when they set themselves goals for the beginning of the year? Even though they went hard in the beginning, even though they did work out, even though they ate healthier, they woke up earlier, they went to sleep earlier, they spent less time on their phone. Even though all of this happened, the reason why they were falling off and they lost all that momentum that they had built was because they never built the strong foundation in the beginning. They never took the time to actually build the foundation. And the reason why this happens, the reason why the majority don't build that foundation in the beginning or don't take the time to build that foundation in the beginning is because the majority are looking for quick results. And so because they want to accomplish these goals that they set for themselves, they start to go hard in the beginning because they want to get those quick results because they think that the harder they go, the more effort they put in, they think that the more faster the results will come. Because they never built the foundation in the beginning, they were able to work out and go hard or eat healthy and do all these healthy habits in the beginning for like two weeks. They were able to do that for the first two weeks, but they fell off at the end of the fourth week, at the end of the month, and they no longer continue to work on their goals. And what happens is they end up with a lot of regret because they started working on their goals in the beginning, but they didn't continue working on them at the end of the day when they hit the end of the year because they lost the momentum, because they lost that discipline. They couldn't stay disciplined. You see, a building that has a strong foundation will always last longer than a building with a weak foundation. The reason for that is because the stronger the foundation, the more it will be able to withstand the whole entire building. If the foundation is weaker, it has a higher chance in the long term to fall. And it's the same way with us. You see, we have to build that foundation in the beginning in order to stay disciplined. Because a lot of us go hard in the beginning, and this is why we lack the discipline later on when it hits two months, because we had never took the time to actually build the foundation in the beginning. Whenever you're looking to build a habit that you actually see in your life long term, this is why I say to take it slow and to start small. Because most likely if you never practice this habit 
and it's a hard habit to add into your life, most likely it will be hard for you to implement it into your life. And so whenever something's hard to implement into your life, like a habit that's hard, like for example, reading, a lot of people hate reading and they think that reading is a very hard habit to maintain every single day. Like me, I read every single day. So for me, reading is not a hard habit anymore. Like it's part of my life now. It has become something a part of me because in the beginning I built the foundation. And how did I build that foundation to make reading a habit? I started by just reading 30 minutes every single day because before that I had never read a book in my life where I'm talking about like in terms of like me actually wanted to read a book. I mean, I read books in school and like in high school, middle school. But as you guys all know, I hated reading during that time because those books were like ancient looking books big fat books and i was not into those books because they were very boring to me and so because of that i was kind of in a way traumatized and i hated reading books and i thought that every single book out there was boring but in reality that is not the case there's books out there that you enjoy you just have to know which ones are the ones that you find enjoyable and so the way that i started to build a foundation for this habit was by just reading for 30 minutes every single day all i had to do every single day was wake up and make sure that today i at least read for 30 minutes i just grab a book I grab my highlighter and I put on my glasses because you got to know when you start to read a lot, you know, it depends on jeans and things like that. But like I wear glasses now because I, I love to read a lot. And so I grab my glasses and then I start reading. All I had to do was read for 30 minutes. And then once 30 minutes was up, if I wanted to continue reading, I will. But if I didn't want to continue reading, I will stop to read. And that's it. I'll go about my day. I'll go about my day and do other things. But I already did the thing that I said I was going to do, which was read for 30 minutes because I was trying to build the foundation. Now I've gotten to a point where I read longer than 30 minutes. You know, sometimes I read for an hour and a half. Sometimes I read for two hours. But I can do that now. And I do that every single day because in the beginning, I built that foundation to read for at least 30 minutes because I wanted to make this habit a part of my life in the long term. You see, a lot of people can't stay disciplined because in the beginning, they never built the foundation. And because they never built the foundation, whenever they hit the long term, the building was not strong enough because the foundation was weak. And so the building ended up collapsing. A lot of people lose all this momentum that they had built already because they never built the foundation in the beginning. Their building was weak. The foundation for their building was weak. Whenever you're looking to stay disciplined on a habit that you have, Remember that your goal in the beginning is to build that foundation because most likely this habit that you're trying to add it to your life, you've never practiced it before. Like a lot of people have never worked out a day in their life and they want to lose weight or they want to build muscle. And so what do the majority of people do? They start to work out every single day for two hours or three hours. And yeah, they could be successful for a week. For two weeks, they could be successful. But let's see if you still remain consistent six months from now. Let's see from now to six months. Let's see if you continue to do that every single day, two hours, three hours, every single day. Most likely you won't be able to sustain that long term. Why? Because you never took the time to build the foundation in the beginning. And how do you build the foundation in the beginning when it comes to working out? Well, you start small. You start by working out instead of two hours every single day. You start by making a priority to work out three to five times a week for at least 30 minutes or for at least an hour. However long you know you can go, go for that amount. And then once you build that consistency, once you build that foundation, then you can up the intensity. Now, instead of working out for 30 minutes or an hour, now you can work out for two hours. And now instead of working out for three times a week, now you can work out five to six times a week. But you can do that because in the beginning, you have already built the foundation. So now you have already built this building tall enough. The foundation is strong, so it can't collapse anymore. Whereas if you were to have not built that foundation in the beginning, the building would have had a weak foundation. And so in the long run, you had more chances of falling off and not staying consistent and lacking the discipline and ruining all the momentum that you have so far built. You need to build that foundation and introduce this new habit that you're trying to add into your life that's going to make you become a better person that's going to overall improve the quality of your life. You have to introduce this new habit slowly and start to add up as time goes on. If you're making a habit to read and you've never read a day in your life and you hated reading before and you start to read one book every single day, you might sustain that for a week. But let's see if you're able to sustain that for an entire year, for two years. Most likely, you will not be able to sustain that long term because you never built the foundation. You never read a day in your life before. You never took the time to actually read a book before. And all of a sudden you think that in one day you're going to be able to read one book every single day. Like you might do that for a short period of time, but in the long run, you won't be able to sustain that. And the reason why you won't be able to sustain that is because you never took the time in the beginning 
to actually build the foundation to sustain a habit like that long term. Focus on winning days every single day. That should be your focus. And then once you win days every day, you start to stack up these wins. And that's how you're going to stay disciplined. Because the more wins you stack up, that means that you're showing evidence that you are actually disciplined. Because if you actually won the day today, then that means that you showed up. And that's really all you have to do. All you got to do is show up. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to do all these perfecting things. You don't have to do all that. You, all you got to do is show up every single day. Like I did in the beginning when I wanted to make reading a habit. All I had to do was show up every single day and read for 30 minutes at least. And then it got to a point where it became a part of my life. Where now I could read for 30 minutes at least. But I could also read for an hour or two hours if I wanted to. And I'm able to sustain that long term because I built that foundation in the beginning. I took the time to build the foundation to the point where the building has a strong foundation that it will be very hard for it to collapse because I've already built that foundation. And the reason why a lot of people lack discipline or they lack the ability to stay disciplined is because in the beginning, they never built that foundation. They started way too hard, they started way too fast. And because of that, they built a weak foundation. They were able to build the building quick, but they built it with a weak foundation. And long term, that building has a higher chance of collapsing. And that is how a lot of people lose that momentum that they have built so far. And then they start wondering why they lack the ability to stay disciplined. You know, I don't know what goals you have. Maybe for you it's working out. Maybe for you it's meditating. Maybe for you it's taking a cold shower or eating healthy. Whatever it is that you want to implement into your life, whatever healthy habit that you know is going to improve the overall quality of your life. In the beginning, since you never really added this into your life, make it a priority to just show up to stack up the wins. Because if you do that thing that you said you were going to do last night, if you do that thing today, that you already won. And then you do that again tomorrow, which is another win. And then you do that again the next day, which is another win. That's three wins in a row. You're stacking up all these wins. You're stacking up evidence that you are actually disciplined because you're showing up every single day. All you gotta do is do that thing. And then once it becomes a part of your life, once it becomes a habit to you, like it's something that's just a part of you, like you just can't imagine your day without it. Like for me, I can't imagine my day without reading at least for 30 minutes. I can't imagine it because it's already a part of my life. And so once you get to that point where working out is a part of your life, where you can't imagine yourself going a week without working out 25 times a week, once it becomes a part of you and you already built that strong foundation, then you could focus on updating the intensity. Now you could lift heavier weights doing longer workouts, doing intense workouts. Now you could do all that. Now you could do all that. Maybe you could work out more days out of the week, but you can only do that because you already built that foundation in the beginning and your foundation is strong enough that it could sustain that long term. So make sure that every day you're stacking up the wins and you're showing up. You know, the longer I go on this journey towards improvement and towards, you know, striving to go to that next level with myself, the more I realize that in reality, you can't reach the destination if you lack discipline, if you can't stay disciplined, there's no way, there's no possible way that you can ever get to the destination if you do not have discipline. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.